Hello, Ralph. Yeah, who's this? It's me, your best friend for all your life. What do you mean, who's this? It's Tony. Tony! Hey, what's going on? Hey, look, I'm sorry I ratted you out when your mom found those Playboy magazines in your closet. I should have told her it was mine. What are you talking about? What magazines? No, you did the scene about that. Guess who I just got a friend request from on Facebook? I don't know. I, that student teacher we all lusted over for a whole year. Uh, Ms. Dowling. Will you just be serious for once in your life? I, I don't know. I give up. Uh, who? All right. You, you remember Abby Warner, right? Ooh, the one you shared an apartment with for a whole month? And caught her in bed getting stoned with the superintendent of the complex? That Abby Warner? Why'd she Facebook you? And if so, what are you calling me for now? I'm watching Home Shopping Network. No. And I'm trying to order the automatic prostate shrinker. I gotta tell you, it looks like it's gonna hurt, but I'll do anything to pee for more than three seconds, Tone. <laughs> Look, not Abby. Her sister, Crystal. You remember her, don't you? What? You mean the cute, the cute cheerleader who only wore plaid skirts and saddle shoes? And the kind of girl every guy's mother would love? The one we all called Snow White? Nah, I don't remember the clean ones. Only the sluts. Well, regardless, I called for advice. What should I do? Well, if you want to get a sugar high, then I say go for it. Me, personally, at our age, I'd be trying to track down Abby. I'm sure she'd get you started in the New York Minute. Which is more than enough time to fix that limp dick. Hey, hey, I, I ain't the one with whose pecker's flying at half mast. You are. I still got the body of a 30 year old. Yeah, yeah. A 30 year old owl whose eyes are bigger than his head. No, no, no. Make that both heads. Oh! <laughs> Ralph, I, I always regretted dating her sister. I, 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 I went to pick Abby up, and in and, and walks Crystal. My heart almost dropped. I, I thought, I, oh man, I miss her sister by that much. Mm -hmm. And what makes you think this is anything more than just a friendly Facebook request? I don't know. I just got this queasy feeling in my gut when, <sighs> I, when I saw a private message. That's just gas. Take two thumbs and call me in the morning. Okay, tough guy. This therapy session is just about over. Besides, I got to get the shop right. It's double coupon week, and I don't want to miss out on anything. If I get there early enough, I get a free frozen butterball turkey. I got ten up in the icebox already, but you know me. I can't pass up anything that's free. And uh, let me know how this doom plan of yours works out, huh? I got a feeling this is all the makings of a bad dream. <laughs> and just remember what they say, my friend. You can never go back. Or does that only apply if she's black? <laughs> hey, ten four, pal, huh? Hey, bro, bro. Dear Crystal, thank you for the friend request. How did you ever find me? Dear Tony, all I did was Google your name. I know exactly where you live, what kind of car you drive, and what size shoes you wear. Isn't it great to have such protected privacy? Ha, ha. Hmm. So, talk to me. I'm all ears. Crystal, wow. That is more information than I wanted out there. I thought there were privacy laws. But I guess that is for another day. All ears, huh? Seems I remember you had other features that endeared me to you more than just a proliferation of ears. I think I would rather dwell on your finer points of femininity. So, Crystal, do you still look like Snow White? Snow White? I always wonder who started that. I may have looked like Snow White on the outside, but inside, I... I... Well, let's just say Father Joseph knows what I thought because I did require lots of time in confession. <laughs> ha ha. Snow White. That seemed 
bit extreme. I always thought of myself as a poor man's Marie Osmond, only without the pretty voice, beautiful body, and gorgeous smile. Other than that, we could be twins. <laughs> LOL. So, Tony, here we are in midlife. A couple of mature citizens just pecking away with our fingers, looking at pictures of us in our profile, and traveling back to a place in time that no longer exists. Any regrets? Regrets. That is the most profound statement made in this short but searing conversation. You want regrets? I will give you a colossal one. It is going to pick up your date and having your heart almost stopped when her sister comes walking through the door looking like a celestial vision sent by God. That is a travesty of the highest order. What was I supposed to say? Sorry, I'll take the one on the left and we will all live in peace, love, and harmony. Now, as the old adage says, you made your bed and now sleep in it. And so I did until I found her until she suffice to say it ended badly. So the upshot is I could never call on you or contact you ever again. You would have lost all respect for me. Well, Tony, I have complete respect for you because you kept your word for all these years. You never contacted me. I contacted you. So, the slate is now clean. And the horses are at the starting gate. It is now post time. How can we amend this miscarriage of justice? Holy cow, she wants me! <laughs> oh, I can't believe this! Oh my god, after all these years? After all these years, we're on the threshold of reuniting each other's arms, fulfilling a lifelong dream! No, make that a reality of, of reuniting. I, I can't believe this is so impossible! This is so... Oh, so unfair! I, I don't mind that I got old, but it's killing me that she got old. I mean, her pictures look pretty good for her age, but what if these are old pictures? What if, what if she's tugboat Annie now and she's desperate? Well, hell, I ain't no George Clooney either. All right, I've got to do this or I'll never forgive myself. Crystal, there's been a lot of years that have passed, and I do not want to waste any more time. What are your intentions? Well, guess what, Charlie? You should have called me and asked me how I felt. Because everything you said about me, 
I felt just like you. When I saw you come to pick up Abby, I almost melted into a pool of jello right in our living room. Oh, how I wished you had an awful first date and she had come home and slammed the door and cursed you out. But imagine my chagrin when she took all of her clothes and went off to live with you. It shook me to my core. But, like I said, the slate is now clean. What are you going to do about it? I say I've never been more ready, willing, and able to answer your call. In other words, say it now or forever hold your peace. I mean this literally. <laughs> ha ha. That's it. I've seen the future and our future is now. Never have I met someone I have so much in common with. I can feel it in my bones and other places. Ha, ha. I am ready, Crystal. And we can now join our hearts as one and unite in each other's arms. I am so ready. Tomorrow night, 7.30, come to 164 East Meadow Road, and this dream and this fantastic adventure can now commence to begin. Tomorrow night, agree? Agreed. <laughs> Au revoir, mon chéri. Ciao, Kara. Oh, you dog, this won't even be a fair fight. 25 minutes late. Come on in! You're late, still playing hard to get, huh? I'm so sorry. I used my new GPS, I typed in your address, and it said, good luck! <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, Tony, what yeah. do you think? Snow White has definitely left the building. It's a complete makeover. I, I like it. It's, uh, it's trendy. Well, you've changed a bit yourself. You still possess that boyish charm. I like it. It's now worldly. So, Crystal. So, Tony. <laughs> Big hair? Oh, I can pick it up. Tony, 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 do you what? Do you dye your hair? As often as I can. Why do you ask? <laughs> you have black dye marks running down your face. Is that a deal breaker? No, I can forget. <laughs> Whoa! I don't remember those as being so friggin' huge. Are they real? No, Tony. I got them on sale. It was a two-for-one special. They're as fake as these eyelashes. Oh, are you disappointed? No, I can forgive those. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Luke? No, Robin. If we 
just did back to back. Mm -hmm. Took our clothes off. In the dark, and the lights out, and then turn back around to Saturday. You game? You... Yes, right. I'm game. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Tony, I'm feeling like a teenager again. This is absolutely mad passion. Are you, are you feeling it? Uh, well, no, not yet, but I'm hoping to say that to you oh. about me and soon. I, I, I'm, oh gosh. Are you ready? Oh, so ready. I, I'm ripe. I'm waiting to be picked. I'm falling off the tree. Tony, my, I'm on fire from my head down to my toes. Oh, Tony, take me. I'm yours. lovers and even family members can often cause us all to enter the black hole of humanity which few escape. Two old friends reunite by way of a social phenomenon called Facebook. Call it what you want. Chance, fate, luck, even kismet. Only to enter a place which defies logic, rationality, and intelligence. A place which turns good minds into mush and tolerant ones into bigots. All this to honor, in four more years, another graduating class of lying politicians. If you're one of these, it's too late to get your shots. You're already in the Twilight Zone. Oh, one more thing. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to buy! buy.